In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Apache Tomcat and how to add it to our Sprint Tool Suite. So you can open Apache Tomcat web page by going to tomcat.apache.org or simply Google for download Apache Tomcat. So eventually you will come to this page, which on the left side here has a download section. And there are different Apache Tomcat versions that you can download. So if you're not sure which version to download, you can click on this link which version and we have a table here so in this table uh, have a look at these two columns apache tomcat version and the supported java version so depending on which java version you have installed on your computer you can choose which tomcat version to download so for example if you have uh, let's say java 6 still running on your computer then apache tomcat 7 will be a better version to run but if you have Java 8 or Java 9 or even Java 10 running on your computer, then Apache Tomcat 9 is the version that you want to download. My option will be Apache Tomcat 9. So I have already downloaded it, but if you have not, go to Apache Tomcat 9 on the left side here, click on it and scroll down here and under binary distributions, look for core and click on zip file to download and unzip Tomcat to a directory where you want it to be. So I clicked on this zip file. It was downloaded to my computer and I have it on my desktop. Let me show you. Here it is on my desktop, Apache Tomcat 9.8. Okay, so I don't need this page anymore. I will close it. And now I will go to my Spring tool suite I will need to add Apache Tomcat to my Spring Tool Suite. And I can do it by going to Window and then Show View and then look for Servers. Here we go. We have Servers tab and at this moment it doesn't have any servers added. So I'll click on this link. No servers are available. Click this link to create a new one. And from the list of servers, I will select Apache Tomcat 9 and click Next. On the left side, I have projects that can be configured for this Apache Tomcat. I'll select only one, which is verification service. I'll click on add and I will click on finish. Okay, so now I have Apache Tomcat server added to my Sprint Tool Suite, but I will need to also configure my project. So I'll go back to verification service. I'll do right mouse click to bring up a menu and then I'll click on properties to bring up project properties. Okay, so this is my um, project properties. Now, first of all, I will go to a server and then here I have Apache Tomcat, so I'll click on apply. And then I will look for Java build path. And under Java build path, there are different tabs here. I will choose libraries tab and then I will click on add library. And from the list of libraries, I will choose server runtime and click on next and then select Apache Tomcat 9 and click on finish and then click on apply and close. And hopefully the red error will go away. Yes, now it's gone and I should be able to run this project and see it in the browser. So here we have um, an index.gsp page. This is the first page that will open when we run this project. Let me show you where it is. So I'll open main source, main web app. We have web XML here. And this is the index.gsp page, which is loaded as default. So we can edit it. Let's say it used to have hello world with one exclamation mark, I will add a couple of more and I can save this now. And I can run this project with Apache Tomcat, which we have just installed. So I'll do right mouse click and then select run as and choose run on server. And now Apache Tomcat will run and it will deploy our application and we should see it in the browser window. And here we go. We have a browser window right inside of Sprint Tool Suite. Apache Tomcat started on default port 8080. We have verification service. Hello world. So we can work with this GSP page or we can actually 
create a new index.html page for our purposes. That will also work. We can apply any design to it as we want. This is just a GSP page, or if we create HTML page, it will be just a regular HTML page. We can add CSS, JavaScript, anything to it uh, to make it look nice and reflect the brand of our project. Okay, so let's continue. 